Hey YouTubers, um, I thought I'd do a quick video about an application similar to Splash Up from iTalk Apple. Um, great videos she makes. Um, but mine is not a drawing application, but more of a photo editing app application. It's an online app. You don't need Adobe Air to install it. It's just it's a web app, effectively. Um, you do need an account to you do need an account to register for an account to use this service, but it's a uh, beta, and you can sign up for it for free. Let me quickly type in my details. I I already uploaded a photo just for, to test out the effects, and for you guys, um, it's a picture of the Apple Genius thing. Double click to edit, and it gives you these tools on the left. Um, this what this is effectively your canvas, um, and you can change the size of the pictures or zoom to fit. I don't know, whatever. And you can view the original if you change something. Um, yeah, you can cancel effect or save effect. And you can do save, save as, and cancel and all that. Yeah, um, there's a whole lot of good tools you can use, and it's for free. So basically, if you don't want to buy Photoshop, but you do need some of the more basic effects, um, like crop or resize, or autocorrect, red eye removal, these kind of basic things that for home fo uh, for personal photos, uh, Photoshop Express does have. Um, saturation, that's a very common, very cool tool to use. The sharpen, which will remove effectively some of the blurry pixels to sharpen the one the pixels that are not are not as blurry. Thank you, Mr. Macintosh, for telling me it's eleven o'clock. I must be going to bed. Anyway, you can change white balance. You can do a whole lot of. There's a whole lot of stuff to do here. You know, you can in some of them you can use a slider, like like this. You can use a slider down here, but I find that clicking is much better since there's only a few icons. There are a lot of tools. The gray interface does look boring. That that I admit, but as like I said before, it's a free app. It's a free web app. Um, what really you know, mind boggles me is that they don't make one of these Photoshop Express applications for the iPod or iPhone or whatever uh, for the App Store. Effective. I mean, we have multi-touch gestures. You can distort the photos. You can resize them. You know, I mean, if they really wanted to cap, they really want to capture the Macintosh audience. They would not make something like this. They would make something more of an iPod. I mean, everyone, almost everyone in my class has an iPod. Um, more people have an iPod Touch. Uh, iPod Touch has internet, so it can access this online service. Um, you know, you know, it's it's just really cool if we we can have that. Uh, we don't have a really good photo editor um, that's built in or on App Store. I have a view, I have seen some of them, but they just don't feel that good. It, they're mainly for fun. They would add mustaches to your photos or add a cap, add a navy, um, you know, hat to your picture or something, nothing, nothing that edits your photos effectively. So this does it pretty fine, I mean there's basic like red eye removal, you know they're aiming for the, fa the family photos, you know, like when you, let's say you're taking a photo, you take a bunch of photos, like 300, 400 photos, you upload them all to Adobe Photoshop Express, which would take effectively 300, 400 megabytes. Um, for now, you, I don't think you update your I don't think you update your membership. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can update your membership here, but yeah, you can't update your membership here, member, member type. But um, you know, it's pretty good for people who just want to do a very simple editing and they can just upload it somewhere as a separate copy so they can get rid of the ones on their camera. And, um, you know, it's just like if I, like I said, if you're want, I'm on vacation and you took 300, 400 photos and you want to upload them to the internet as fast as possible and uh, to Facebook or Flickr or Photo Bucket and um, you have internet at your hotel. So what you would do, you would, don't save, you would, um, where's upload? Yeah, oh, yeah, upload photos and you would up choose the photos you want and you upload them to an album, then you can quickly go to Facebook, Flickr, Photobucket, or Picasa 
can upload photos from to there automatically. Um, you can tag photos. There's an info tab, and if you have a camera, but this this is a user generated picture. If you have a camera, it will tell you what camera type. The basic information. So yeah, it's a pretty cool app. It's a pretty cool web app. I do hope that they have a iPod Touch App Store effectively uh, version coming out soon. And if we if they do, I will do a review on it for you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is Snow Leopard. And yeah, thanks for watching.